Hey everybody, happy Saturday. It's day 23 of the 90 day run. I wanna to talk to you guys real quick about activities, income generating activities, you know. I want you guys to keep track of the activities you're doing on a daily basis, all of your activities. And just remember that 20% of activities result in 80% of your income. So pay attention to everything you're doing every day. Everything in your life, pay attention to everything because 20% of those activities will result in 80% of your income. Um, ask yourself, are the activities that I'm doing help me get ahead? Are the activities that I'm, that I'm getting involved with during the day helping me produce income? It's up to you. You have to make those decisions and you have to prioritize those accordingly, right? It's time for you to get into the activity mode that generates the income. You know, one of the most important activities is sharing your company's product and business plan. Are you doing that? Are you stepping forward? You know, four weeks into me starting my network marketing career, my neighbor said I had to share the opportunity in front of a group of people or I wouldn't make the money. I had to do it. If I wanted to be one of those people speaking on stage one day, one of those people telling people that this opportunity, this industry has changed my life, I had to be one of the people that went up in front and spoke about my company's opportunity and products in front of a large group of people. I had to be somebody that actually went out and shared the plan, right? So it's not because I wanted to, it was because I had to. Another example is, Nothing that has to do with the business, but you know, I've never played a year of soccer in my life. I've never played a game of soccer in my life, but my little girl wanted to play soccer. It's her first year playing soccer last year, and I wanted to be the coach. Why? Because if I wanted to be an impact in my daughter's life, and I wanted my daughter to really love the sport and really understand the rules of the game, I wanted to be involved. I wanted to learn as much as I could so I could help her. And if I wanted to be the coach, I had to learn the game. I had no idea about soccer. I was so scared. I volunteered to be a coach without even thinking about it twice. I wanted to be a coach. I begged to be a coach. They let me be a coach. And, um, and I didn't know the half about how to even you know, what the first rule of what soccer was. But what did I do? I knew because I had to learn it, because if I wanted to be that impact on my daughter's life and I had to learn the sport, I was willing to go out there and make it happen. I looked up, I, I went out and found books on the sport. I went out and looked up videos on, on, on other coaches teaching other players how to play the sport. I went out and learned as much as I could about the sport so I could teach it to these kids. Uh, I went out and, bought, and, and found all of the different little training drills you can do during the game. I printed them out. I went and bought my clipboard, went and bought my, my uh, you know, went and bought everything. Uh, all of the the cones and everything else I had to put out there on the field and I went out and I learned the game and I learned it in a short amount of time I learned it in a quick two or three months before the season started I already had all of the drills out even though I had an, uh, I had another coach that coached with me I still wanted to know what I was doing I wanted to be actively involved in what my daughter was learning I wanted to be able to teach her stuff on and off the field that she that to, to help improve her game and even though she was young I knew that I could take what I learned into the years and into the future so what are you willing to do to get to where you want to be? What are you willing to do to really make yourself a, a professional in whatever you're doing? Do that. Do those things and watch where you end up. Talk to you guys soon.